Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Is there a side quest game that you want to buy and play on your quest, but you don't actually have a PC to install it? Well, have no fear, Whackman is here. Today, we are going to go through how to install paid apps on side quest, and I'm also going to review an awesome side quest game that a lot of people are overlooking called Axe Agent. So if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, remember to enter my secret quest 2 game giveaway by liking, subscribing, turning on bell notifications and commenting hashtag secret quest 2 game down below. This is probably your last chance to enter this giveaway, so make sure you don't miss out. Well, let's get straight into the video. Firstly, I'm going to do a review of our Axe Agent. However, if you aren't interested in that for any reason, then just skip to the timestamp on screen. Although I highly recommend you watch the review first. Just to let you know, the developer has provided me with a review copy. Alright, so what is Axe Agent? Well, simply put, it is a roguelite action strategy game and there is a decent amount of both. In case someone doesn't know, a roguelite is basically where if you die, you have to start all over. However, you do get to keep some things you've unlocked, such as coins or experience. All weapons and everything else disappear, so it can be quite challenging and nerve-wracking when your health is low. So, in Axe Agent, it's a simple but a fun concept. It's a wave fighter, where waves of enemies will come towards you, however you need to set up traps to help you get through those waves. Now, where it gets interesting is you can't just use whatever traps you want. You actually have to unlock them as you play. Every wave you finish, you get a blue orb which will reveal three chests. Now, the reward in these chests is random. It may have new cool weapons, it may also have traps that you can use, it may even have health. However, you can only pick one chest. So you have to decide do you want to upgrade from your rubbish starting axe or do you want to collect a trap? Or do you want to recover your health? Talking about weapons a little, there is actually a really good range of different types of weapons with weird and wonderful abilities. You can have swords, axes, bows, a magic staff and even a machine gun. These are the ones I managed to find but there are a lot more. Some with full possibilities as well to get the enemies closer to you so you can strike them down. Then the traps have a good variety as well where you have catapults, spikes, hot lava floor, a teleportation trap, lightning that can stack up, a sumo wrestler that will be like your tank and many many more. Now the gameplay itself is actually quite a lot of fun as well. There is a short tutorial but after that you're in the midst of battle. After every wave you get about 30 seconds to set up new traps or different strategies you want to implement. You can shorten the time if you wish but the game is actually quite tiring as well so you may need to take a rest yourself. There are a range of different enemies from giant spiders that when you kill sprout smaller spiders that rush you and that can really freak you out. You have weird bat creatures, goblins, skeletons and many other funky creatures. There are even epic boss battles. Quick tip, you should really save some traps for the boss battles as they can take a lot of hits before going down. I really got my butt handed to me. The graphic style is a little cartoony but there seems to be a lot of blood and gore where the enemies can even explode at times, where their limbs flying off. So is it fun? Well, to be honest I get bored and put off of games quite easily. However this game actually keeps you interested and engaged throughout as you gather your arsenal for the final epic battles. This game can also get quite intense as the enemies will start pouring in from all sides. Think of Plant vs Zombies but you're also there as the action star. And not only that, after a few waves you will also have a mini game and they are completely different from the main game but the rewards you get from there you can take back to your playthrough. This keeps things different and still gives you an opportunity to get better weapons or traps. There is actually still a lot more to the game such as leveling up your character, changing classes between warrior and archer. The mage is said to be coming soon as well. And each class has its own perks. Plus there are also many other things to do in the tavern itself. But do you know what the best part of this game is? It's the price. It only costs $6. Which is an incredible price for the game. Honestly speaking, this is probably the best game on the quest for that price. There's also a demo that you can try in case you're not sure. So I highly recommend this game as it's a lot of fun to play. Alright, now let's show you how to install the game. Before we start, iPhone users, you won't be able to use this method to install the game as Apple doesn't allow it. Okay, so if you watch my previous videos, then you can skip this step. Otherwise, you will need to do it first. Go onto the Play Store and download and install an app called CX File Explorer. I chose this because it's free without any ads, but others work as well. Step 2, download and install the Bug Yeager app if you haven't already. Also, please note that you need to have developer mode activated for this to work. I've linked a video in the description that might help you through the process. Okay, now. Connect your phone to your Oculus Quest using a cable. I've linked an all-in-one adapter in the description if you don't have a phone with a USB-C port, as you can use the charging cable that came with the headset for this. 
Once you have connected the phone to the Quest, make sure you press allow in the headset. If nothing pops up, restart both your phone and your headset, then try again. Once you press allow, then open up the Bug Yeager app. Another pop-up may appear asking you to allow debugging if you haven't previously accepted that. Next, make sure you're on the Packages tab in the Bug Yeager app. A lot of people are on the wrong tab so it doesn't work for them. Then press the plus icon at the top and press select from installed apps. Find the CX File Explorer app you installed and install it on your Quest. When it's done installing, that's it. You won't need your phone ever again. You can now disconnect the cable. Alrighty then, once you've done that, now go on to your Quest and click on Browser. Then click on the URL tab and type sidequestvr.com. Once on there, in the search box search Axe Agent or whichever game you want. Then click on the game. Then click on the button that says on itch. Then pay for the game. Once you've paid it, it will take you to the download page and simply press download. Once you have downloaded the game, then go into applications, unknown sources and click on CX File Explorer. Then click on downloads and click on the game that you just downloaded and press install. You may need to enable installing from unknown sources if you haven't previously, but the quest should ask you to do it if you need to. Once it has finished installing, go back to unknown sources and then click on the game for it to start. That's it. Now you can finally play the games that you wanted from SideQuest. Well that's all folks. I hope this video has helped you and hopefully you found a great new quest game to play. If you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Well thanks for watching, have a great day, stay safe and see you next time.